What's up guys, Lucas Oculio here, and welcome back to Payday. It's been a little while, we're doing the train heist. So yeah, let's get into it. On side note, um, sorry I've been a little on and off posting. I know that I've been posting daily most of the summer, but the problem is, is that I am going back to classes at the local university, so um, it might not be daily, but I'm going to do my best to, between this... Um, between work, between school, I'm going to try to keep posting as often as possible. Because this is what I really enjoy doing. I mean, fuck work and school. But anyway, this is Train Heist, so we're here to talk about that. So the first thing you want to do, obviously clear the guards, but first thing number number one is set the drills. But you want to set them on the other side, not on this side. So... We're going to speed this up real quick. I set up every single drill on this side because I had the fastest drilling out of the group. Good thing to talk over because you're going to waste time if you have somebody upgrading all these drills. What you really want to do is just open them from this side. That way you can't be shot from the other side. Now you have the chance of them blowing the doors off, which will do your job for you. So while, you know, just, just don't let them blow the doors off or, you know... Don't waste your time setting up the drills because there's no point. So then you'll get the thermal lance from the helicopter pilot who is sometimes a jerk and tosses it off the side into the canyon. Can be annoying. You want to get that as quick as possible before you start getting massive waves. Uh, the thermal drill is the only thing that will help you get into those vaults. So, so we're continuing on. Just gotta make sure you keep those drills restarted. You do not want to let all those drills go. And hey, look, that one actually had a drill in it. See, you can see here how both sides are opened. Both sides shouldn't be open. That was a uh, teammate who just put a bunch of drills everywhere. He didn't. I don't think anyone said anything to him. It was just like most people who do this mission agree to just open it from one side, and it happens to be the other side. But I wouldn't say that you're, you know, you're not stupid if you open the other side. It's just. It's, I feel like it's easier to not open both sides. So this is one vault, and you'll see that vault is full of shells, and that is not what we want. Well, shells are worth money, but they're hard to transport. You can basically use them to kill a lot of guys, though, which is something that I never understand why people don't do. They're always like, oh, be careful, don't blow up the shells. And it's like, you're never going to get all those shells to the extract anyway. So I don't know why you care so much about the shells. But regardless... Let's just set this up and get this drilling. This is the uh, vault that's actually going to have the turret. So my homie gets down. We gotta make sure to get him up. I got someone with Inspire on our team, so it becomes a lot easier. And hey, look, ooh, a package. So right where I am right now, this is the place you wanna post up if you happen to be in that end caboose. Having a box in front of you greatly helps your survival. It is so worth it to hide in front of that box. And one of the other important things to remember is that if you're running low on ammo and none of your teammates have ammo, one of my teammates, or two of my teammates actually still have ammo, but instead of having them drop it, I can go and run out and pick up some ammo. That's the nice thing about being in force respect, as a lot of my guys are in this mission, is that I can take a lot of fucking damage. So you'll see me, instead of using our stuff I'm gonna run out here and get ammo myself and actually you see a taser over here so it could be dangerous you could get tased and maybe down but I can handle myself and I go ahead and grab some ammo because that's way better than taking your teammates ammo which is gonna be close it's and you'll see my teammates gets that sniper good shot on his part so yeah just don't for, don't forget if you place the ammo bags around from the assets use them because they're it's you know it's worth your while not to waste your ammo that's close to you um, so there you go we're popping open the final wall and boom the turret so we're gonna start disassembling it and it's got three parts and they're heavy as shit they're about like equivalent to carrying like a weapon case um, so you're gonna walk slow as shit and my guy's just beating that guy with that new money stupid money beat down melee weapon I don't even know why they even include that thing it's dumb but anyway um, so I got a turret part he's got a turret part and then I bagged the other one on the floor over there and so my homies are coming I'm gonna toss him a bag and go ahead and grab this bag boom 
And what we're going to do actually is throw it over that railing you see right there. Because the boat always comes to pick you up in the same part on this mission. And so we're all going to go down there. And the thing is, is that once you get that turret, you really want to leave. Uh, it's an easy way to get killed on this map is being greedy. So you just, just leave after it's done. Just get your turret apart and get out of there. Um, you'll see here, I'm moving it in fast motion right now, but you'll see here that actually we lose two of my teammates before escaping just because the mission is so, uh, is it, it's a difficult heist. I mean, there's guys repelling off the side. Look at that, a freaking bulldozer repelled off the side. So I help Bones up, and we, we should get out of here with three, but then we go back to help Dev, who's got some shells, and um, he ends up getting killed. So that's pretty much it, guys. That has been the train heist, a very difficult heist. Honestly, questionably worth it. I don't even know if it's worth it, really. But I hope you enjoyed it. We had a good time. Thanks for watching. It's been Lucas Oculio, and I'll see you next time. Going this way, actually. Whoa! No. There we, there we go. That looks, that's, that's about my experience in Nether. Just checking the map here, and I, uh, I seem to get.